Hi, folks. How you doing? Uh, welcome back for episode two. Thank you for uh, not canceling us. Um, so we're going to wait maybe a minute or so for other people to trickle into the stream. Uh, so I've been asked to give an actual recommendation on Netflix instead of a ramble on. So I have one this time. And so that recommendation will be The Casketeers. It's a sweet show. Uh, it's an examination of life from the perspective of a funeral home. I know it sounds weird, but it's quite sweet. And if you're not afraid of your emotions, I know a lot of Americans you know, can be afraid of their emotions, but if you're not afraid of your emotions, it's a really good show. So we do have uh, some business to get to, and so I just want to start off by reintroducing myself. My name is Chris White, and I'll be your host for today's challenge. From myself and everyone here at The Discovery, we hope that you and your families are safe, especially now during the current pandemic situation. Our hope is that this quiz brings the uh, Discovery to you, no matter where you are, and we can help satiate your appetite for the discovery until we're able to open our doors to you again. I wanna have a big thank you to Waste Management for their continued support of the discovery and of this program in particular. So if you're wondering about last week's quiz, no one got 100%. So that's why no one's been contacted, no one got 100%. So this time, you know, we're going to grab our belts, put on our try hard pants. We're going to get all our friends and family together and we're going to try for that 100 percent and we can get a uh, and we can give out that free membership and a swag bag. And so if you enjoy the, if you enjoy the quiz or if you enjoy programs like this, please consider donating to the discovery. We are uh, definitely we are definitely stronger with your support. A little bit about us. We are an independent nonprofit. Uh, we rely on your generosity. So again, if you um, uh, if you uh, support this program, please consider uh, please consider donating. Now, the rules of our trivia quiz. I'll read the questions and answers aloud once. If you need a question repeated, again, I have P Money in the chat room. He uh, write in the chat box, and he will. Uh, Tell me, and I'll try to repeat it when I can. Um, once the quiz is ended, the machines take over. So at 6.30, I can't really do anything. Uh, everything's done, so your answer sheet has to be submitted by 6.30. Those who receive a 100% will be submitted into a raffle. And when that raffle goes live, P Money will select the name from that raffle, and they will win, again, the one-year membership or renewal and a swag bag from the Discovery. So good luck. And in the immortal words of Mario, here we go. Now, question number one. Co-opted by a 1980 television show. What occurs when one electron jumps from one energy level to another? Is it A, who's the boss? B, Magnum PI. C, Quantum Leap. D. Nova. Question number two, invoked as a political metaphor. What scientific test determines if a substance is an acid or base? A, litmus test. B, Rorschach test. P, pH test. C, the independent test. Gosh, three of these are actually real tests. Question number three. Atoms, as you know, are really tiny. What is their even smaller center called? A, nanometer, B, electron, C, neutron, D, nucleus. So I really hope you remember your fifth grade science class on this one. Seventies high school anthems, dream on and sweet emotion are hit songs 
from what famous rock band? A, the Beatles, B, Queen, C, Aerosmith, or D, Guns N' Roses? Hopefully, this is not too much of a generational divide. You know which one of these bands is not big in the 70s. Question number five. What classic 90s movie, <laughs> what classic 90s movie coined the terms, excuse me, and party on? And you throw the word classic around a lot these days now. Inventor Lonnie Johnson developed this toy in 1990, which became one of the best selling toys of all time. A, Slinky. B, Barbie. C, Nerf. D, Super Soaker. Fun fact Lonnie Johnson was actually. A NASA, NASA space scientist, space engineer. Question number seven. California is known as the Golden State. What is Nevada known as? If we ever get a football or a basketball team, maybe we'll name our team that second place state. Question number eight. Along with Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, which astronaut was on the Apollo 11 mission? A, Bill Murray. B, Michael Collins. C, Sally Ride. Or D, Phil Collins. Question nine, true or false? At sea level, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Another true or false question. Question number 10, true or false? The most populated city in the world is Tokyo. Question 11, which of the following is not a marsupial or a pouched animal? A, kangaroo, B, wombat, C, Tasmanian devil, or D, armadillo? I don't believe you'll find any of these in America either, so, well, one. This is version of classic. Question 12. In the popular movie series, Back to the Future, what type of car, what is the type of car that takes Marty back in time? A, Dodge Neon. B, Buick Skyhawk. C, Lamborghini Contact. D, DMC DeLorean. E, a Daewoo Leganiza. Guess TARDIS would have been too much with dead get a giveaway. It's just the best time traveling, best time traveling vehicles in TARDIS. I know it's a hot take. Question 13. In the Harry Potter series, what is the name of the train that takes students to Hogwarts? Question 14, true or false? Hydrogen is the lightest of all known elements. All right, so I'm gonna go back because someone has asked for question three. So question three is atoms are really tiny. What is their even smaller center called? 
Question four. Question four. The songs Dream On and Sweet Emotion are hit songs from which famous rock band? All right, question five. What, what 90s movie coined the terms, excuse me, and party on? Question six. <laughs> Lonnie Johnson developed this toy in 1990, which became one of the best-selling toys of all time. So now I'm going to hop back into the future with question 15. True or false, an electron carries a positive charge. All right, so question three, nine, 10, 11. All right. So I'll repeat question three again. Atoms are really tiny. What is their even smaller center called? Question nine. At sea level, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. True or false? Question number 10, true or false? The most populated city in the world is Tokyo. Question 11, which of the following is not a marsupial or pouched animal? Question number 14, hydrogen is the lightest of all known elements. True or false? Question number 15. An electron carries a positive charge. True or false? Question 16. This dual sport athlete won the famed Heisman Trophy in 1985 while attending Auburn University. A, Michael Jordan, B, Deion Sanders, C, Bo Jackson, D, Tony Gonzalez. I know someone's out there is like, finally a sports question. Question 17, the third president of the United States was A, John Adams, B, Thomas Jefferson, C, Andrew Jackson, D, John C. Riley. Question number 18. What popular fast food restaurant once used the slogan, where's the beef? A, Wendy's. B, McDonald's, C, Burger King, D, Carl's Jr. Question 19, what do the Avengers eat after the Battle of New York in Marvel's The Avengers? A, pizza, B, hamburgers, C, sushi, D, swarma. You could actually get some on this little hole in the wall off of Ralston Street. Question 20. What is the color of a lobster's blood? A, green, B, blue, C, red, D, purple. Question 21. 
Sodium chloride is more commonly referred to as what? A, table salt, B, pepper, C, baking soda, D, baking powder. I think the actual thing is NaCl. Sorry. Question 22. Name this famous Mexican artist. A, Selma Hayek. B, Frida Kahlo. C, Demi Lovato. D, Maria Esquizadero. Question 23. True or false? Rome is the capital city of Italy. Question 24. True or false? 128 ounces is equivalent to one gallon of liquid. That's a lot of math. Final question, question 25. How many sides does a Pentagon have? So now I invite you, if there are any questions that uh, you want me to repeat. All right, so two and three. 23, all right. Question number 23. True or false? Rome is the capital city of Italy. True or false? Nine, 10, question one, got it. I'll start with question one. Co-opted, question one. Co-opted by a 1980s television show, what occurs when an electron jumps from one energy level to another? Question nine, true or false? At sea level, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Question 10, true or false? The most populated city in the world is Tokyo. Question number 24. True or false? 128 ounces is equivalent to one gallon of liquid. Twelve and thirteen. Question twelve. In the popular movie series Back to the Future, what is the type of car that Marty takes back in time? Question thirteen. In the Harry Potter series, what is the name of the train? that takes the students to Hogwarts. Question number two. Question number two. Often invoked as a political metaphor, what scientific test demonstrates if, if a substance is an acid or a base? Often invoked as a political metaphor, what scientific test determines if a substance is an acid or a base. Question 17. The third president 
of the United States was. Question six. Inventor Lonnie Johnson developed this toy in 1990, which became one of the best selling toys of all time. Yes, I did question six. Okay. Yeah, so thank you very much, everyone. Uh, thank you for participating. That's our quiz for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you renew us for another session. Thank you for welcoming us into your homes and uh, having us interject into your Netflix and Disney Plus time. Please do not forget, if you uh, enjoyed this, to donate to their Discoveries Residency Fund by clicking the link at the top of your computer screen. We could you really use support and we thank you for your donation. Have a wonderful evening. And tune in next week, hopefully, with me, P-Money, and remember, in science we trust. Wait. <laughs>